This is Alan Bishop, head alchemist at Spirits of French Lake Distillery. We're glad to introduce to you our newest bottled and bond bourbons, the Lee W. Sinclair Four Grain Bourbon and the Maddie Gladden High Rye Bourbon. As always, these two bourbons are deeply rooted in the history of our location in the Black Forest of Southern Indiana. Always double pot distilled, never chill filtered, made using the finest grains, alternative and historic yeast strains that we propagate ourselves, and the methodology that once made Southern Indiana an epicenter of American distilling. Matured gracefully in 53 gallon number two char, new American oak barrels, using a low 105 entry proof, the Lee Sinclair presents an oak forward profile, which pushes forward the definition and conversation about bourbon possibilities. While the Maddie Gladden graces us and demonstrates respect with her 35% rye mash bill, it's not just the spirits in the bottle, it's the spirits of the place. Respect the grain and drink responsibly. Alan Bishop is the head distiller, master distiller at the Spirit of French Lick. The Spirit of French Lick is the largest pot still distillery in the state of Indiana. Pot still distillation is a small batch process focused on the concentration and retention of flavor and aroma. It is reflective of the grain, fruit, and other locally sourced ingredients. The distillery focuses on four pillars of distilling bourbon, brandy, botanical spirits, and American whiskey. There you go, folks. It's like when Tiny has his glasses on and you can see uh, that makes all the difference. Hi there, Super Nash from the Scotchy Bourbon Boys. I just want to tell you about a bottle giveaway that we're fixing to start. Uh, we got seven bottles of bourbon that we're going to give away, and it's called the Super Nash Shares His Collection. We got a Lee W. Sinclair Four Grain Bourbon, we got a New Riff Single Barrel Bourbon. We got a Willet uh, small batch four year whiskey, uh, rye whiskey. And then we got an Elijah Craig uh, barrel proof A121 batch. Then we got a Bradshaw straight bourbon whiskey. And we got a Buffalo Trace uh, Bourbon Whiskey, which is a store pick from Highway 5 Beverages in Atlanta, outside of Atlanta, Georgia. And we also have a Weller Special Reserve bottle. Now, you might be asking, what do you got to do to win these bottles? Well, you got to go to our Scotchy Bourbon Boys YouTube page. You got to subscribe to our YouTube page. And then you got to go to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, somewhere across there, and you got to put hashtag SBB subscribed. I'm also going to do a post on the Scotchy Bourbon Boys Facebook page with a picture of all these bottles in this background, and you can also uh, comment on there, SBB subscribed. Once you subscribe to the Scotchy Bourbon Boys YouTube page. Now, you have till September 29th, which is the last day of the Kentucky Bourbon Festival, to do this. Everybody that's subscribed by then will be entered into uh, a randomized randomizer, uh, which we're going to do on a live Facebook, uh, on one of our live Facebook Friday night tastings. And uh, also, if you're already a subscriber to our YouTube page, or you still need, and you want to be a part of this bottle giveaway, you still need to go to somewhere across Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and hashtag SBB subscribe so that you can get in on this bottle giveaway. Now, anybody that does this by September 29th, subscribes to the YouTube page, and then comments, SB, hashtag SBB subscribe, gets in and no cost to you will win randomly one of these bottles all right now you know what the bottle giveaway is now you know what to do so let's get out there and do it go to scotchy bourbon boys youtube page subscribe and then post hashtag sbb subscribe and we'll get you into that randomizer and we'll let everybody know uh, when that live Facebook drawing will be and we'll give these bottles away. 
Good luck to everybody and uh, cheers. We're so excited. We also have brought on board Log Still Distillery. Wally, Lynn, and Charlie Dant are down in Gethsemane, which is in northern Nelson County. And they have brought back their family distillery. The Log Still Distillery traces its roots back to Joseph Washington Dance, hollowing out of a popular log to distill his first batch of Kentucky bourbon in 1836. And now a new generation of distillers is continuing his footsteps with Joseph Washington's great, great, great grandson, Wally Dant, along with cousins Lynn Dant and Charles Dant, as co-distillers. The campus is opening in phases throughout 2021 in southern Nelson County and will employ 126 people once fully operational for her. And so uh, Wally, Lynn, and Charles are doing a wonderful job. They opened up uh, this May and they just opened up their amphitheater, which is a huge amphitheater. It started out uh, when I was down there it started out uh, to seat like 900 and now it seats 2000. I've been seeing some of the uh, pictures of the amphitheater online and it's just freaking amazing. Uh, let's see. Monk's Road, fifth district series bourbon. The first release in our fifth district series pays homage to Cold Spring Distillery, a historic distillery in Southern Nelson County, Kentucky, that was located just a stone's throw from the site of our new distillery today. This six-year-old single barrel bourbon masterfully blends notes of corn, rye, and malted barley for a product that revives the spirit of yesteryear. Watershed Bourbon. Watershed Distillery in Columbus, Ohio. The Watershed Distillery in Columbus, Ohio is uh, opened in 2010. Uh, it opened with Greg Lehman and a partner and it then eventually became Greg himself and now he's hired Aaron Harris as the master distiller and the two of them along with Ann Dimmick are basically revamping and putting out some really really good bourbon the one bourbon that they just released and they invited me down for their media day was the bottled in the bond bourbon bottled in bond is a rare and recognized mark of quality and transparency watershed bottled in bond bourbon is made in a single season right here at watershed distillery then aged in our bonded warehouse aged for four years and bottled at 100 proof the result is a pure and flavorful bourbon each batch is true a true snapshot of the bourbon we are, were producing at the time of barreling the quality of the spirit is an authentic reflection of the grit and hard work that we have been putting in at watershed since we started in 2010 and it's all these are all this bourbon is made there they are craft distillery and this is all them and it's it it's reflective of a fantastic bourbon i was very happy and excited to be a part of the media day and taste it and was super happy with how good the product is so if you see this anywhere in ohio on shelves or at your bar give it a try you're gonna like it uh, it's got the tasting notes were aromas of red apple, toasted oak, flavors of caramel, chicory, and dark cherry, lengthy smooth finish with notes of spice. It was, it's a, it's a delicious bourbon. So, uh, shout out to uh, Aaron and Anne and Greg for doing a great job at the Watershed Distillery.